Hey y'all, I am making some individual pizzas today and I like to do these and normally I do them and just put them in the freezer. And some of these will go in the freezer, so I thought I would just show you how I do that. So I took pictures that I'll post at the end of this video. This pan's hot and heavy, y'all. But I did not make my own pizza crust. I just used store-bought crust and I par-baked my crust. So that kind of got a pretty golden brown look, but they're not completely done. Just like if we were going to make a homemade pizza, you know, we will usually par bake or pre bake our crust a little bit. So I'm going to put four of them over there to make in freezer meals, and I'm going to leave four of them here to assemble for you and cook them now. So I par bake these for 11 minutes in the oven at 400 degrees. And I'm going to set these aside, and after I get these done, I'll try to do a video. I've got my plastic wrap and aluminum foil out, and I'll show you how I freeze those. But for now, I'm just going to move these four out of our way. Okay, so this pan is hot. Y'all remind me not to touch it. <laughs> Somebody told me in one of the videos, so if you're watching, thank you for that tip, to take a rag and lay it there. And that will remind me not to touch that hot pan. So that's exactly what I am doing today. That was a wonderful tip because I'm forever grabbing those hot pans. You can use your own pizza sauce that you prefer from a jar, your homemade, whatever you like. I like to keep some made just with simple tomato sauce and different seasonings that I put in. So the ones that I'm going to cook for me and my husband tonight, I'm going to go ahead. The oven is still on. I'll go ahead and assemble these while the other crust cool. I like to let the ones I'm going to freeze cool completely. So I'll have to come back on at the end and do that for you just to show you how I assemble them for the freezer. Oh, this smells so good. I use our everything but pizza seasoning in my tomato sauce. My husband, I haven't found one in the jar that he likes yet. He spoiled. So I've got some sweet basil, everything but pizza, um, and my three onion rub. I love the three onion rub. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that out of the way. Then here's where we have fun and we can build our individual pizzas like we want to. I have got some pre-cooked sausage that I had in the refrigerator. So I'm gonna put that on all of ours. Okay. You can load these up and you can make the crust as big or as little as you prefer. We just like the little handheld size that I have here. It's about a five inch um, pizza crust. Not too big, but you can make them as big as you want to. All right, so I've got sausage crumbles on all of ours. My children, grandchildren and children both love that, so I always have some sausage. I like pineapple. My husband does not like pineapple on his pizza. So I'm going to put a little bit of pineapple on a couple of these and they will be mine. You can never have too much pineapple on pizza in my opinion. Okay, and then for his, he would probably like mushrooms, but I didn't get any out to, to do so. So I'm going to put a couple pepperonis on each of these. And I've got some more pepperonis. Wipe my wet rag tip, y'all, right there for me to wipe my hands too. All right, so y'all can see those, I'm sure. And then the other thing I have is some mozzarella cheese already shredded. And I shred it extra because I will be topping the ones in my freezer with the cheese and the sauce also. And again, I'll come back on and show you how to do that or how I do that and get them ready for the freezer. My grandchildren, when I pick them up from school or they come over here, every every time they come home from school, they're starving for some reason. So I like to have these that are already kind of pre-made in the freezer and I just pop them out and normally I will warm them in my air fryer for just about five or seven minutes from frozen. And then they have a nice little homemade pizza with their favorite toppings also. Now, when I do them in the air fryer, I have these little five inch cast iron pans. We have these and they come in a set of two. So I like to take them from the freezer, put a little bit of oil in the cast iron pan, 
put that pizza right in there. And like I say, in just five or seven minutes, I've got a homemade pizza for them. Anytime they are ready, it's nice and warm. All right, so I'm gonna pop these back in the oven for just five to seven minutes to let that crust finish cooking a little bit and the cheese melt and all those ingredients come together. And then I will come back on and show you the finished results. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, y'all, seven minutes and they are extremely hot and aren't they so adorable? Just a perfect light, small dinner for us tonight, two little individual size pizzas. So I'm going to set these out of the way. I just wanted you to see them and how quick and easy they are to put together and to cook. And again, you can personalize them with your favorite toppings for sure. Let me move this and then I've got the other ones cooled enough now that I can safely um, get them ready for the freezer. Okay. I went ahead and did some. I had put them in the refrigerator, the crust, right on that cooling rack just to speed up the process of cooling them so I could go ahead and get three of my four ready for you. So I'll show you quickly how I do that and then I'll leave you alone. So I can eat my pizza, <laughs> but it does need to cool a little bit. Y'all, I don't know where I got this gadget from. Got it years ago, one of my friends gave it to me and um, it keeps saran wrap in it. And I don't know about you, but I can never tear saran wrap off straight. So I'm sorry, I don't know where to tell you it come from. But I take some saran wrap. You can go ahead and take yours out if you're better at it than I am at getting it ready. And I just leave my saran wrap attached right to this or my saran wrap roll. And I've got one more crust that's cooled and ready to go. So then what I do is take some of this pizza topping that I have made. Again, you can use jar bought or your favorite pizza topping. Now when I am freezing these, unless I know I'm gonna be using them real soon and what grandchild is going to want them, I don't put a lot of toppings on them. I just put the sauce and the cheese because all of them like that. And then I normally have some sausage or pepperoni or something that I can top with them after I take them out of the freezer before I cook them. And again, even from frozen, you can add your toppings to it, whatever you like, peppers, onions, mushrooms, pepperonis, sausage, and cook them from frozen. All right. So again, I just make it basic and simple for the freezer to grab for snacks, and then I customize them like I want to. All right, so now I'm just going to cut my saran wrap, and I take it over, and the saran wrap is just basically, I wrap it over the top both ways, and then I fold it under. And the saran wrap just helps with freezer burn, and then it keeps all of that in there because I really like to wrap them in full, so then that's what I do. I just take them and go ahead and wrap them in full. And I'm gonna take some pictures before I bag them all up. But then I will take these and put them all in one bag because I know, and if you're gonna do different types, I would suggest writing on your bag what they are, pepperoni pizza or sausage pizza or loaded pizza, whatever you want to put on your bag. But I'm gonna put all of these in aluminum foil, put them in this safe Ziploc bag, and they will be good for three to four months in the freezer for me to grab and have snacks. And again, I usually do a lot of these at one time, but today I just had one store-bought pizza crust, and I got eight pizzas, little pizzas, five inch size out of that one pizza crust. So thank you so much for watching, and um, we're gonna be eating our two little pizzas here shortly, and I will post the recipe in the comments along with the freezer tips. Thank you guys so much for watching and y'all have a great night. Bye-bye.